So we went to talk to Dave Gray, who's an expert on disability policy and teaches the subject at Washington University School of Medicine. Dave held leadership positions at the National Institutes of Health and the U.S. Department of Education, championing the causes of people with disability. Great. That wasn't too hard. I teach a course in disability and social policy, and it's uh, a pleasure to teach because I wrote some policy when I worked for Ronald Reagan and I wrote some, some policies for people with disabilities. Uh, policies are, that are important for people with disabilities are transportation. And um, in St. Louis, locally, we had the first uh, bus system that was totally accessible in terms of the equipment. Unfortunately, the drivers tend to pass people up. And when you stop them, or somebody stops them and find out what it is, they say that, well, the lift doesn't work, it's broken, or I don't know how to use it. And it's kind of a weak excuse, but that kind of ruins the chances of a person getting work on time if the bus doesn't stop them or going down shopping. By state bus on the uh and on um, Olive Road across from Olive, uh, uh, University City Community Center, um, lowered their, their handicap ramp onto my feet and, and uh, footrests and, and smashed them and broke them and crushed my feet. And then... These Metro bus riders were forced to cross in front of traffic to get to the bus. The bus driver tells the riders that he only has room for one wheelchair today. I'll give you a ride, Willie. So there's a bus sign. There's a sign that says it's a bus stop, but there's no uh, sidewalk to uh, this is right in front of Paracon when they really need it. Right.